Well, hello, welcome to this video. We're going to look at fade in. So we're going to use the video that I've made. Uh, hello, and welcome to this look at all 22 spells in Roots. So what we can do is we can go fade, and we can go fade in audio and video. So if we take a look at what's happened here. You can see that by default, the video fades in, and then the audio fades in a little bit later. Hello, and welcome to this look. Let's actually just extend that. So we'll drag this keyframe. We're going to put this keyframe way way down here and we'll do a comparative thing here as well so if we look at it now hello and welcome to this look at all 22 spells in roots so, we, so basically the audio is getting louder to the proper volume and this is uh going in now one of the things uh would be kind of interesting I want to make sure you keep that at 100 there uh otherwise the opacity will go down uh Obviously, in, in you, you have the different options. When you have a video clip, these are the options you get. The opacity, you can do the stuff with the motion as well. And with volume, you have volume bypass levels and the balance. So you can basically choose what various options there. What I'd like to try, though, which might be quite interesting, is if we put a transition at the beginning here, so one of the transitions I like to do is called roll, which is this guy. And we can put that at the beginning of the clip here. And let's make it three seconds, because that's about what we've got here. And we only want it on the left clip, right? So you can see that's going to go to the end of the video transition. So let's have a look and see how we, if we combine the fading in effect with the rolling effect. Hello, and welcome to this look at all 22 spells in Roots. That's actually pretty cool. Hello, and welcome to this look at all 22 spells in Roots. So, that's kind of like an interesting way to combine. If you, if you scrub through it, you can see it's already scrolling through it as you do it. So another thing we can do here is if we go to this button, we go here, we can look at the audio mixer. And what it does is it actually helps you to, to visualize how the audio is changing. So you can see the audio is changing as we scroll through it, which is kind of cool. So what we could do, like, is after we actually announced... So this is where we announce, right? We've made our, like, uh, impact statement at the beginning, or whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah, we could do, like, an effect here, like, while we do the little intro thing. So if you're interested in watching the Spotlight video... So we go to this section, right? Here, where I go through all the main concepts of Roots please click on the card in the top right hand corner. So that's like also like a little bit of a um, kind of a, a separate thing, right? So we could do, hmm, we could do a vignette maybe. So I could do like a little bit there. And then when we were the intro, we go through the intro with the thing. All 22 spells in Roots. So if you're interested in watching the Spotlight video, where I go through all the main concepts of... So it's just a way to be a bit more... Oh, we could try a bit more, a few more things here. Size of the vignette. Rounding. No. The feather, if you do feather zero, it becomes just a... All right, but I'm happy with that. All right, so let's just scrub through a little bit more, see what we've got here. And we'll start with the acid cloud spell. All right, so this is where I'm just... And we're going to start with the acid cloud spell. So there's a module that can be appended to a spell. I've put it on in every case, just to see the full effect. All right, and I think that's the end of that section, right? Oh no, maybe not. The cloud, and we've also got the set target and fire. And this is. Oh no, this so that's the end of okay. So we look at. So we have the acid cloud, and we've also got the set target and fire. All right, so that I think was the end of that section, right? So this is, this is so this is something which is it's a bit maybe it's a bit dark, so we want to maybe. Uh, do a little adjustment on that as well. 
I guess I guess what we could do is do another layer. We could also do another layer right. when we close that box, right? So when I do when I when it's like that, I like to get it right on the frame if I can. I like just go full zoom. So you can see I was I was on it anyway. So we do it on the previous one. And that means this first bit here is already a, is already a different clip. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we might want to do here. So we'll try gamma correction on this clip. See what might look good. So if we look at the readability of the text, probably the readability is best on this one. What about uh, the temperature and the tint? Because of the backdrop, a blue, probably a blue would be nice. Probably a blue is good. Let's see what we can do here. Cool blue. No, it's not too bad. We could do stuff with the lighting. What about contrast? That gives it a very different. I think a good contrast would be good here. So that looks pretty readable, right? So that would be a nice one to do that. Uh, right, so if we say we wanted... So you can actually see the difference, right, between these two clips here. The first clip automatically looks better now. So you can see we have a, a, a range of different effects here now. Uh, we've got temperature tint, gamma correction, and auto tone that we put on. Um, now, even though I broke the part of these clips, I think I actually wouldn't mind having it on the other clips as well. So if you look on here, right, you can see this has got none of them on it. So the green dot signifies that they're on it. So what we might want to do is we might want to copy these settings over. And the way you do that is we press copy. And then here, if I then press paste effects and adjustments, take a look at what happens just to the right there. So you can see now, you have to deselect and reselect. But now all those settings are the same, right? All right, so in this final clip, I've just changed the gamma. I've decided that it probably is better to do a gamma of about eight in this. And I think I'm, I'm kind of happy with the effect here. It's not, readability is not so important. We've also got this green uh, sort of gas cloud, so we might try something with that. So in effects, which are not the same as adjustments, right? You have adjustments and then you have effects. And effects, they'll still they'll still show up in this in this menu here, but if you want to change them, and you'll still be able to copy and paste them in the same way, but they're just in different categories. Let's try a lens distortion on this. So in, in, in something like this where it's just battling, it kind of it kind of makes sense to do something which is a bit more distorted. So when it becomes like this, you see, as I go, as I scrubbing through the content. It's not really previewing correctly, and it's because I'm doing quite a, a, a big effect to it. So if I just press enter, it will simply render the file. All right, and once that's done, you see this whole bar grows green again. And now if we look at this clip. This is an effect that occurs around the cross. So now we're going to hold down the acid cloud. We're going to slowly sneak forward. And just cause a wave of destruction. Okay, we might just try something a little bit. A little bit extra. One of the things you may notice, like in the opacity menu, is you try changing this to something else. Basically, doesn't do anything, right? And that's because this is not how you do it. You basically go to normal, and the way to, if you want to do this thing, is you get an adjustment layer, you put it where you want it. This bit I'm still kind of learning, but I sort of know it. I know how to do this bit at least. Uh, this is where you do it in the actual adjustment layer. Because it's like comparing two different clips. This is like where a lot of the, the, the tougher stuff comes in, I think. But anyway, so now you see if I do this, you can see it changes. Let's try, let's try hard light, right? Because I think hard light is actually quite good. And... I wouldn't mind doing a brightness as well on that. Just a little bit brighter, maybe. 
we change that maybe? Should we go for this one, a bit more contrast? Okay, let's render that out and we'll watch the entire finished clip now. Okay, so let's have a look. Hello, and welcome to this look at all 22 okay, spells so in Roots. Transition. So if you're interested in watching Audio the Spotlight video where I go through all the main concepts of Roots, please click on the card on the top right corner. So we're going to go through this alphabetically, oh, and we're going to start with the Acid Cloud spell. So there's a module that can be appended to a spell. I've put it on in every case, Pretty just clear to see though, the full right? effect. So we have the Acid Cloud, and we've also got the Set Target on Fire. And this is an effect that occurs around the cross. So now we're going to hold down the Acid Cloud. This looks good though, right? We're going to slowly sneak forward. And just cause a wave of destruction. So yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good actually. Um, but yeah, there's obviously like lots of different things you can do. I think there was a small, maybe a small mistake earlier. Wasn't it right at the end? I felt like maybe the trans... Yeah, the transition between these two was not that smooth, right? So what I could do, for instance, is... Like, I don't want it to be too much, but... So this is like a new topic here, right? So there's a module that can be appended to us. Yeah, well, this is what I was, I was, I was essentially uh, clarifying something, but it's still a, a, a reasonable break point. So what we could do then is we could try what we tried did before, which was doing copy and then pasting the effect and adjustments there. So I think that might actually work a little bit better. Let's see how this one looks instead. Uh, and we'll go back to the start again. Um, may as well put this... Should we move this over a bit as well? Why not? Yeah, I think that will look better. Um, I think the volume is a bit loud, actually. So maybe... Well... I don't know. I'm not going to do anything about the volume because the volume is actually the correct volume for YouTube. Um, I've gone through a lot of testing on that. But let's just have a look uh, at this. Uh, just a quick render, actually, just to get it perfect. Yeah, you see, when you don't do like a um, anything particularly significant, the render is much quicker. So I, I just did like a few minor changes there. Hello, and welcome to this look at all 20... So let's have a look at the final product. We're going to call this the final product now. Hello, and welcome to this look at all 22 spells in Roots. So if you're interested in watching the Spotlight video where I go through all the main concepts of Roots, please click on the card in the top right-hand corner. So we're going to go through this alphabetically, and we're going to start with the Acid Cloud spell. So there's a module that can be appended to a spell. I've put it that's, on in every case right? just to see the full effect. So we have the Acid Cloud, and we've also got the Set to Target on Fire. And this is an effect that occurs around the cross. So now we're going to hold down the Acid Cloud. We're going to slowly sneak forward. And just cause a wave of destruction. So yeah, you can see there was a bit. There was actually a, a nice difference there. Um, I think I think probably what I've learned from this video, and I think it's important to learn from videos, was that when we do the transition, like that this is this is like a hard transition. So while maintaining the vignetting on the side is actually like it was really noticeable the first time I watched it, like when this happened. But here, you see, it's not so noticeable because nothing else is happening. It's just like, bang, we're onto a new topic. Like, if you look, if you look at it carefully here, cloud spell. So there's a module that can be appended to a spell, and just because of the intonation of my voice, it often like does that as well. But anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. So thanks for watching.